tell her how to solve t times t times t equals 27 divided by 8. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So let's start by multiplying this left hand side. We have t times t, that is t power 2, times t, that is t to the power of 3. And this equals 27 divided by 8. Now, the next step will be for us to make sure that every term here has the same exponent just like this. So we can express 27 as 3 times 3 times 3 and this is 3 to the power of 3. And also we can express this 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 and this is 2 to the power of 3. So we have t to the power of 3 equals 3 to the power of 3 which is 27 divided by 2 to the power of 3 which is 8. Now the next step will be for us to apply this identity. If you have a to the power of c divided by b to the power of c, this equals a divided by b and this is raised to the power of c. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have t to the power of 3 equals 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3. Now, the next step will be for us to move this over here and equate everything to 0. And don't forget, when this crosses this equality sign, it will change to negative. So you have t to the power of 3 minus 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3, and this equals 0. Now, the next step will be for us to expand, because this is power 3, and this is power 3. So we can make use of this cubic identity in order to expand. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, since the power here is 3 and the power here is 3, our a equals the t will be equals 3 divided by 2. So, the next step will be for us to insert this t and 3 over 2 for a and b right here. That means for a minus b, we are going to have t minus 3 divided by 2 times for a squared, we have t to the power of 2 plus a b we have t times 3 divided by 2 plus b squared. We have 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2. And everything equals 0. Now, the next step will be for us to simplify what we have here. Remember, we still have t minus 3 divided by 2 times this is t squared plus t times 3. That is 3t divided by 2 plus 3 power 2. That is 9 divided by 2 power 2. That is 4 and this equals 0. So the next step will be for us to equate each of these to 0. So the first one will be t minus 3 divided by 2 equals 0 or this which is t squared plus 3t divided by 2 plus 9 divided by 4 equals 0. Now we need to solve each of these to find the value of t. So let's start with the first one here. That means we can isolate this t by moving this negative 3 over 2 over here. And we have t equals when this negative 3 over 2 crosses equality sign, it becomes positive. We have 3 over 2, so this becomes our first value of t. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation in order to find the other values of t. So let's copy it down here. 
yeah, g squared plus 3c divided by 2 plus 9 divided by 4 equals 0. And this is over 1, so let's find the common LCM, and that is 4. So 4 divides 1, that is 4, 4 times t squared, that is 4 t squared plus 4 divides 2, that is 2, 2 times 3t, that is 60 plus 4 divided 4, 1, 1 times 9, that is 9, and this equals 0. Don't forget, this is over 1, this 4 here will multiply the 0, and we have 0. And this numerator here will multiply 1, and what we are going to have will be 4t squared plus 60 plus 9 equals 0. So we need to solve this quadratic equation in order to find the other values of t. So to solve it, we are using the formula method, and we write the formula in respect to t. So we have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. Right now, a is 4, which is the coefficient of t squared here, this is our a, and b is 6, which is the coefficient of t, and c is 9. So what we are going to do is to insert these values for a and b and c right in this quadratic formula. So what we are going to do right now is our t equals the negative b. Remember our b is 6, so we have negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared. b here is 6, so we have 6 to the power of 2, minus 4 times a, a is 4, times c, our c is 9. And this is divided by 2 times a, so we have 2 times 4. So from here, we are going to have t equals, this is negative 6, plus or minus square root of 6 to the power of 2, that is 6 times 6, and we have 36 minus 4 times 4, that is 16, and 16 times 9, we are going to have 144. So this is divided by 2 times 4, and that is 8. So from here, we are going to have t equals negative 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 144, that is negative 108, and this is divided by 8. So from here, what we are going to do is to ensure that this, remember this negative here, so we are going to take the square root of this negative 1 because of that negative. We have negative 6 plus or minus, this is square root of negative 1, because of the negative that we have here, times square root of 108, and this is divided by 8. So from here, what we are going to do is we have our t equals negative 6 plus or minus. Square root of negative 1 here will give us imaginary number i. So we have i times square root of 108. We are going to express it as the product of 36 and 3. So we have square root of 36 times 3. Because square root of 36 is 6, so we have this divided by 8. So from here, we have t equals this is negative 6 plus or minus i times we are going to take the square root of each of these terms. So square root of 36 is 6. And we have times square root of 3. And this is divided by 8. So the next thing is for us to simplify this further. So 2 can divide this 8, 4, and 2 divide this 6, 3, and 2 divide this 6, 3. So we have t equals, this is negative 3 plus or minus i times 3 root of 3 divided by 4. So what we are going to do last is for us to factor out 3 over 4 here. So we have t equals 3 over 4 of negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So right now we have two solutions for t, two complex solutions for t. So the first one will be this is our t2. Remember we had our t1 earlier on. So t2 will be 3 over 4 of negative 1 plus i times root of 3. And the t3 will be, this is 3 over 4 of negative 1. This time we are taking the negative aspect. So we have the negative i root of 3. 
So these are the two complex solutions. And remember, we have one real solution earlier on. So the next thing we are going to do is to insert this particular value for t. And let's check if it's going to satisfy the equation. So what we are going to do right now is just to check. So we have check and we recall that our t equals 3 over 2. This is the real solution that we have. So we are going to insert it right here. So that means we can easily recall the problem, which is t times t times t. And this equals 27 divided by 8. So let's insert this value for t and let's check if it's going to satisfy the equation. So what we are going to have here is 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. And this equals 27 divided by 8. So let's multiply this out and let's check if it's going to satisfy the equation. So we are going to multiply the numerator. So we have 3 times 3, that is 9. 9 times 3, that is 27 divided by 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, that is 8. And this equals 27 divided by 8. So what this simply means is that since the left hand side equates the right hand side, so that shows that the answer is obviously very correct. So we have one real solution and two complex solutions for this particular problem. So thank you and see you again.